The strategic drive chain is a great tool we use to help an organization understand its strategic challenges. Very simply, the eight wheels go around an axle, and the eight wheels accelerator pedal sits at the left with the world changing, the country you live in changing, the market you're operating in, the industry you're in. All of these change, and our role is to really understand where they are going to. On the right-hand side, as we look at the drive chain, we have stakeholders, and the best definition of stakeholders is anyone who will cry if the organization doesn't exist. Now, clearly, shareholders would be uh, a little bit unhappy, as would employees, employees' families, industry bodies, players, other players, suppliers, uh, customers. All these are, are players in the industry, are stakeholders, who have a vested interest in the organization's success. They either directly or indirectly influence the leadership. The leadership itself needs to take stakeholders with them as well as understand how to develop the organization's capabilities, its systems, processes, structures, procedures, governance, culture, climate. These are incredibly important parts because it's those capabilities that collectively deliver a strategy and deliver operational tactics. Now, the real challenge we face in strategy is there are six of them. The first one I think that we face is that we don't understand that changing environment. We try and interpret the future using our existing lenses of how we see the world today. If you're thinking forward three years, you need to get your headspace three years forward. And that's a key part, is learning how to understand it. Scenario planning is its kind of sophisticated form of this, but every organization in strategic process needs to get its headspace into the future. Secondly, I think we formulate our strategy uh, too pedantically. Historical models about the strategic plan, a very unchanged, fixed kind of program is an obsolete model. Strategy is a dynamic process and we need to have models that allow us uh, to, to have flexibility as we move forward. If you like, a little bit like a game of snakes and ladders, there are opportunities, there are things that uh, we face that we hadn't anticipated. That's the nature of the world we live in. Thirdly, the stakeholders. We, we don't take enough time to understand and get alignment between those stakeholders. Is a shareholder agenda the same as a union agenda, is the same as employee agenda, is it the same as our supplier or customer's agendas? It's crucial we understand all the stakeholders and what's shaping and driving their agendas. The leadership itself may often be obsolete. It may be token leadership. I sadly think many organizations frankly don't want leadership. They just want efficiency managers. And management is different to leadership. And we need to understand the essence of leadership in organizations and the role that it crucial role that it plays. Fifthly, the capabilities. This is the most crucial part. If you're, you're, The capabilities determine what strategy or what tactics actually get implemented. If your markets are moving and your capabilities are static, guess what? You're not going to implement any other strategy other than what your capabilities allow you to do. And it doesn't matter what you strategize into the market, you're going to be held back by capabilities that are obsolete. So crucial is to understand what capabilities will your industry need three to five years out. Are you three to five years out compliant, if you like, from an organization uh, effectiveness basis? The, the sixth one, and this is an insidious one because it's, many people think it's just soft, fluffy things, but the ethos of the company needs to be very clearly defined. If the ethos is wobbly, our purpose, why we exist, and our values, what shapes our behavior, if those are not held sacrosanct and the backbone of our whole strategy, the organization is going to find itself with conflicting agendas because people will play the system to suit them very often with dire consequences. Now, all of those six are key parts of a strategic process. If any one of those is suboptimal, guess what? You're going to get difficulty in your, either your strategic implementation or your day-to-day -day operations may, may fall into a thing we call crisis management. And really, crisis management simply means that your organization is incapable on a day-to-day -day basis of delivering what a changing market wants. If you're in crisis managers, then the chances of you delivering a strategy are really minimal.